week I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how we could configure uh, a port. In this case uh, we're using a PIC 16F84A. Uh, we can configure a port. There are two of them, port A and port B, um, to be either inputs or outputs. Now to do that we need to uh, we need to configure the tri-state registers of TRIS A and TRIS B, They're special function registers. You'll note that uh, I'm looking in the uh, data sheet for the PIC 16 f 84 a here. You'll notice that the tri-state registers are in bank 1, uh, not in bank 0. The ports themselves are in bank 0. The tri-states are in bank 1. So we need to get to bank 1. Now somewhere here it's uh, here we go. There's a note. Uh, data memory is partitioned into two banks, which contain the general purpose registers, special function registers. Here we go. This is important. Bank 0 is selected by clearing the RP0 bit and setting the RP0 bit selects bank 1. So we need to select bank 1. Uh, we've got, already got this command here. Go to start. So it's going to jump to start here. So first thing we want to do then is to go to bank 0. So to do that, we need to bit set file. Status is the name of the special function register, and then the bit was RP0. So once that command is executed, we will now be in uh, bank 1, because we've set that bit. And once we've done that, then uh, I want to configure TRISB to be all outputs. Uh, to do that, I need to set all the bits low. So I can do a clear F, port B, and that's it. So let's just add a note here. So um, change to bank 1, uh, configure all bits as outputs, because we've cleared them. And then bit, uh, bit clear file status RP0. Don't actually have to do this, but it's probably quite a good idea to, whilst you're thinking about it, let's just see if I can spell that correctly. Change, change to bank 0. Let's try this now. So if we run the simulation, um, if I just go back here, let me just show you that at the moment I'm using the simulator. So if I now debug, I'm actually running the debugger on the simulator, and it ran without any errors. Um, let's let's just deliberately put an error in. So let's say like that, and hopefully you'll see look symbol not previously defined. Yeah, correct. It's not uh, is defined. Uh, oh, that would be defined if I got it right. RP0. I think I'm overwriting there. Okay, so that's running correctly. Um, it says it's the program's running. It's running on that command. It's just looping forever. Now, what we can also do, we can go onto Window, Target Memory Views, Special Function Registers. If you remember all this stuff, um, these are Special Function Registers. And if you have a look down, the, we are currently, let's have a look, scroll on down, TRISB is now configured to be all zeros, which it should have been because we cleared that file. Now, let's just maximize this. And let's just place that there. And let's just stop. And this time I'm going to add a breakpoint there. I just clicked in where the numbered lines are. Just click run again. And you'll notice now it's saying that that's current point in the uh, in the um, in the code. So breakpoint here. There we go. Use bro uh, use program stopped at that breakpoint. It will continue if we press F7. But at that particular point, you can see that TRISB is currently set to all ones because we have not yet cleared. So then, if we press F7, we're now about to execute the next line. If we press F7 again. You'll now hopefully notice that TRISB has now all been cleared. And then we've, we press 7 again, then we're to the go to, and then that's going to keep on. Looks like nothing's happening, uh, just to prove the point that something is happening. NOP, not an operation. 
minus one. So rather than just going to the um, program counter position, which is itself, just going to keep on calling itself. Let's go to the previous program counter position, which was uh, not an operation, which is just generally used for wasting instruction cycles. So let's run this now. Once again, it gets to that point, F7, keep on pressing F7, and yeah, I'm repeatedly pressing F7, so yeah, that proves the point that um, it is running. Okay, so let's stop there.